Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Terraform with AWS in your uh, local laptop. Okay, so Terraform is an infrastructure as a code tool which lets you uh, define your AWS infrastructure or any other infrastructure for that matter in code and uh, lets you automate your deployments and creation of your resources in your AWS account. Okay, so uh, after this setup, you would be able to run your Terraform code from your uh, laptop and be able to create the resources on your uh, AWS account. So um, let's see how to set up this. Okay. So firstly, I have installed Microsoft like Visual Studio Code. You can install any uh, ID of your choice. So uh, once you have installed that, you need to uh, have your AWS CLI and Terraform installed. Okay. So if you don't know how to uh, install AWS CLI, I'm going to link a video uh, in this. Uh, so check it, check out that video and install AWS CLI. And uh, similarly, if you don't know how to install AWS uh, Terraform, I'm going to place a link for that video as well. So check out that as well. So once you have installed AWS CLI and Terraform, so you can check uh, by running these commands, AWS version. So it shows the CLI uh, version that is there on your laptop. And to check if Terraform is installed or not, you can just run Terraform and uh, see that the Terraform is installed in your machine okay so since i have both uh, aws cli and terraform installed in my laptop i'm going to uh, start the setup okay so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an iam user and configure that iam user in your uh, laptop okay so whenever you run any uh, terraform code that iam user will be assumed by that code to create resources on your behalf in your AWS account. Okay, so the IAM user uh, that you're going to configure here should have the permissions to create AWS resources on your behalf. Okay, so let's create that IAM user first. I'm going to uh, click on IAM here and go to the IAM console and click on users here and click on add users and I'm going to call this user as let's say Terraform user anything that you can name them okay and you can add the users to any of the groups that are there or you can uh, copy the permissions from other uh, users or you can attach the policies directly to this user so i'm going to attach the policies and i'm going to give them administrator access to this uh, user so it is not recommended you can just give the permissions whatever is uh, required to this user so just for the sake of simplicity here i'm just giving administrator access but make sure that you give only the permissions which are necessary uh, but keep in mind that this IAM user needs to have permissions to create and alter AWS resources. Okay, whatever you are trying to create. And click on next here and click on create user. Okay, so once the user is created, uh, click on this and go to security credentials here and click on create access key here. Okay, and select this CLI command line interface because that's what we are going to use this user from. Okay, and check this box and click on next. And you can give some description. I'm just going to give some description like this and click on create access key. Okay, so now you need to uh, configure these access key and secret access key in your uh, laptop. So to do that, uh, you can come here and click on AWS configure and hit enter so it is asking you for uh, aws key access key id okay so copy this access key and paste it here hit enter and copy the secret access key i'm just going to uh, show you here i'm going to delete this user after this recording so uh, that's fine but it's recommended not to reveal this access key in secret access key okay so I'm going to enter default region is US West 2 is fine. Put format JSON is fine and click on enter. So now our AWS IAM user is configured in my uh, laptop. Okay, so whatever code that I going to, I'm going to run will assume this user and create resources on my behalf uh, with this user. Okay, so now let's start writing uh, the Terraform code to create, uh, let's say an EC2 instance. Okay, so we will create an EC2 instance uh, for this uh, demo purposes okay i'm going to create a new file called uh, main.tf okay so let's create main.tf file and click on extend yeah. 
So I have downloaded this uh, Terraform extension for uh, Visual Code Studio Code so that it highlights the syntaxes and everything. Okay. So once you have created this uh, main.terraform file, uh, the first thing that you need to do uh, here in this is you need to define a provider. So provide so Terraform is cloud agnostic. You can define uh, resources related to AWS, Azure, or GCP, or uh, a lot of other uh, providers as well. So here uh, you need to specify what is the provider that you are going to use. And for me, it's AWS. Okay, so when you uh, define this provider, the Terraform is going to download the plugins which are required to uh, uh, create resources for this one, no, for this provider. Okay, so region I'm going to uh, give as US West 2. Okay, so yep, this is fine. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to uh, define a resource that you want to create. So the keyword is uh, basically resource. Okay. And if you see, it's highlighting the syntax for me. So this here is the type of resource that you want to create. So if I type AWS underscore, it's giving me all the type of AWS resources that uh, Terraform can create. Okay. So we want to create an AWS IAM, I mean EC2 instance. So I'm going to select this AWS instance and this is the name. Okay. So uh, please note that this name is just a logical identifier uh, for this resource inside your code and not the name of the instance which will be created in your account okay um i'm just going to call it as instance one or anything like uh, so this just to logically identify your inst resource inside your code okay so now here we need to define the properties of this uh, resource or ec2 instance okay so the first thing that you need to give is ami okay amazon machine image of that instance so uh, which ami we will use we will uh, use an any AMI that is free tier eligible. So let me go to EC2 here or like we can go to uh, marketplace as well. So once you are in EC2, just click on like uh, launch instance here. Okay. And <clears throat> click on browse more AMIs here. And here, just make sure you select this free tier only. Okay, so this gives you a list of uh, instances which are free tier eligible. So just to make sure that we do not incur any costs. Okay, I'm going to copy this EMI and paste it over here. Okay, so this is the Amazon machine image. And uh, yep, the next thing that we want to uh, define is instance type. Okay, so instance type is I'll say T2 micro. I'm just going to create a small instance. Okay. So these are only the required parameters. So there are uh, additional things like you can define tags uh, if you want, but this is purely optional. Okay. So you can name your instance uh, anything like, uh, let's say, I want to name my instance as uh, my demo instance or anything uh, that you wish to name it as. Okay. So, yeah, this is basically a simple example that I have defined here to uh, create an EC2 instance using Terraform. Okay, so uh, just to walk you through this uh, syntax, like first thing is you need to define the uh, provider and the next thing is you need to define the resource. So like, there are a lot of other aspects to writing Terraform uh, code like uh, variables and everything, but uh, I'm not going to go into all of that in this video. Okay, so we're just creating a resource of the type AWS instance and uh, this of this EMI and the instance type is T2 micro and uh, the name will be my demo instance. So this is the name of the instance which will be created in my AWS account. So if I go here and show you the instances, there are no instances in my account right now. Okay, so um, let's start creating this instance. The first thing that you need to do is uh, basically let me just uh, save this file. So first you need to save the file and once you have saved the file, you need to run the command Terraform in it. Okay, so what init does is it downloads all the plugins and everything that is required to uh, run this code and create the resources on your behalf. Okay, so when I run Terraform init, if you see here, it's initializing the provider plugins and downloading Ashikop AWS plugin. Okay, so let's wait for that to finish. And once that is finished, uh, we can start creating the resources. So, yeah, so first step to always is to run Terraform init in your project so that it downloads all the necessary plugins. Okay, so now uh, it says that Terraform has been successfully initialized. So the next thing that you can do is you can actually run uh, Terraform 
format so that like it just formats the code properly uh, if you have any unnecessary spaces and everything so yeah if you see it just formatted the code uh, neatly so yep yeah, so once that is done uh, i mean this is optional again if you have you can also run terraform validate to see if your configurations that you are defined are uh, valid or not okay so when i run terraform validate uh, let's see it just validates your uh, code okay so it says that uh, success the configuration is valid now let's uh, run a command called terraform plan so what plan does is it without actually creating the resources it shows you the changes that it is going to make in your uh, aws account so it will show you like the resources that is going to delete or create or change or whatever right so the plan basically that is going to execute when you run the terraform uh, create okay so let's uh, see terraform plan when you run the terraform plan it should uh, show you that it's going to create a new instance in your aws account So if you see, uh, it's showing like uh, AWS instance, instance one uh, will be created, okay? And these are the uh, like, uh, uh, like configurations of that instance, the AMI that you have specified and the instance type. So all these other things will be known after the apply is done, okay? So yeah, if you see here in the end, it shows one to add, zero to change and zero to destroy, okay? So now uh, let's run the command terraform apply. So terraform apply does like, actually uh, creates the resources in your uh, aws account okay so i have run the terraform apply here so yep it will take some time to uh, create okay so it's asking do you want to perform these actions so i'll just type in yes and it enter Okay, so now it says that it's creating the instance. Okay, so let's go to my uh, AWS account and see if it is actually creating that instance. So, yep, if you see that uh, this instance is uh, getting created over here. Okay, and uh, yeah, with the AMI that I uh, specified and the instance type is T2Micro. And yep, so if you see, I think in the tags, uh, I, I had given the name as my demo instance so yeah that's what it's getting it's creating it as okay so yep after like i mean yeah so if you see apply is completed resource one added so here if i just refresh this once yep so this instance is uh created now and it's running it's in running state okay so now we have successfully created an uh, ec2 instance using uh, terraform from our local laptop okay so if you want to like uh, delete this instances or anything so you can just run terraform destroy and hit enter okay so if you see uh, it says a uh, refreshing state yeah so it's asking me do you really want to destroy all resources so it's showing you like, I mean, the plan of the telephone destroy, right? So it says zero to add, zero to change, and one to destroy, which is your EC2 instance that you just created. So I'm going to click on yes here. And once you click on yes, it will start uh, deleting that uh, instance. So it says destroying. So let me go here and refresh this. So if you see here, it's shutting down that instance. Okay, so yep, let's wait for this to finish. Yep, so it says uh, the destroy is complete. So let's go here and refresh this. So if you see, uh, it's terminated. Okay, so yep, I hope this uh, video is helpful. I mean to uh, help you. I, the My intention was to help you understand like uh, how to set up everything in your laptop and start uh, running, uh, you know, your Terraform code from your Windows machine to create resources on your uh, AWS account. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.